According to a source of ours, Patrice Wilson was found dead in this Novi apartment complex early Sunday morning. Her body was found with gunshot wounds stuffed in the trunk of her own car. The last time that Patrice was seen was early Saturday morning when she was kidnapped. According to Detroit police, Patrice Wilson was leaving her overnight shift outside a Detroit Medical Center when this suspect, Jameer Miller, approached her wearing a blonde wig. Saturday, we spoke to Wilson's mother, Rosalind Livingston, who at the time told us. I got a call. Uh, someone said they were talking to Patrice on the phone and they heard her screaming. Her daughter's phone went dead after that. Detroit police said Miller approached Wilson as she was getting into the driver's side of her car and forced her over, then fled with her inside. Livingston revealed to us that Miller was her daughter's ex-boyfriend and he was obsessive. Here's what she had to say on Saturday. The more she pulled away, uh, he was sending flowers. If you go by her house, there's things at her door that she kind of like left there to let him know that I'm not accepting things from you. Wilson's mother also shared with us that Patrice was very smart, and so she was holding out hope that her daughter may be able to talk her way out of the situation. But tragically, we now know that Wilson was shot and killed and found in the trunk of her own car Sunday morning. This is the second child Rosalind Livingston has lost, and this time, heartbreakingly, she lost her daughter on Mother's Day. Livingston described her daughter Patrice as quiet, studious, and a good mother. She said she was leaving work Saturday to take a nap and go to her second job. Patrice Miller leaves behind a son. DMC has released a statement expressing how sad they are about this situation, and police are not commenting on Jameer Miller at this time. Reporting in Nova, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.